Hey guys, we just got our mail and the kids have run all the boxes and the envelopes to me. So um, we, I was gonna wait and kind of open it on camera, but they, they were too excited. They always get excited when they know that we have packages and they wanna see what's inside, especially if they know it's for uh, school. So um, here are our books that we got in the mail. And let's get, open these and see what we have. Okay. So we have two books here. Um, we have several United States maps and books, um, but this wasn't very expensive and I had seen it before and I really liked how they illustrated each state and every page um, is given a state, you know, the entire page would be dedicated to that. Um, the other books that I had were kind of, um, you know, activity based and it would give things to do, um, which I love those too, but I wanted something like this just to where they could reference quickly to that state and have um, a bunch of information given to them that would follow that state. And there's our state of Indiana. We have bats. <laughs> Okay. And let me see if I can see. Or Minnesota and Mississippi. Just pretty, very pretty illustrations. Um, yep, I've noticed that, and I didn't realize um, that a lot of states have the cardinal bird as their state bird. But anyway, so uh, very pretty. And then the last two pages are the flags of the United States. So very fun to have. Um, and I got everything that I'm getting ready to show you from Amazon, so I will include links for everything. So that is that. And I had made a video before and I could not remember the DK um, books. I had a set and then I couldn't remember, but it was a DK Eyewitness that I love. They're so informational and they're beautifully illustrated. Um, and we usually reference use these for references. This would obviously not benefit my four-year-old, but um, and he might enjoy looking at some of the pictures. But just packed full. I mean, almost can't even fit them on the page full of information um, for that time or whatever they are talking about. This one is the American Revolution. I love the picture up front, of course. Just packed full. Full of information. I love this book. So um, did not pay very much for this one as well and I have prime shipping so I don't pay for shipping. So I try to wheedle around everything I can to get as, things as cheaply as I can. If you're a homeschool mom you know how much things can cost and how expensive things can quickly get when you're trying to build a library or just get your kids curriculum and stuff. Um, so this is the Titanic and Illustrated History. Um, I got this book for the kids because we will, we do obviously talk about the Titanic and let me move the camera down a little bit so you can see everything better. Um, pretty very pretty pictures. And then it has um, some real pictures too, not just illustrated. But they, um, this is just dedicated to complete history of before, during, and after the aftermath. And we have actually taken a trip to Florida and went to the Titanic Museum that has the actual things pulled up from the Titanic and um, actually a piece of the ship itself, which is very humbling to touch that and to know um, where it was and what happened. Um, there is a couple other museums in different places, like I think Tennessee and Branson, <clears throat> Gatlinburg, I mean, and Branson. And they have things from the Titanic that were what people had come off with, but to go down under the water and to pull things up from the Titanic is um, owned. People know, you know, you just can't do that. If you have the equipment, you can't just go and take things off of it. So. Um, we went to that museum in Florida that has that actual stuff, and it was it was, it was very informative and um, extremely humbling. So um, if you ever get a chance, that would be fun to do. But this book will give us a lot of resources to write our reports. The kids do um, a lot of reports in the year. We do a country report 
um, where they pick a country and we do a lot of activity with that country as far like we might cook something from that country uh, something they might eat um, we try to learn a phrase in their language um, different things like that but then we do reports like this and the, um, some of the kids have already been discussing the Titanic and maybe doing a report on this so I went ahead and purchased this book so they could um, use this as reference and and just have fun and look at the pictures and read the little the little information they give so that is that oh this is for me <laughs> thank you Alyssa uh, if anybody has read this book they can let me know how good it is I've had a lot of friends that have read it um, a lot of actually uh, military friends that have read it family and not family and they have just raved about it so I got it for um, almost nothing so I went ahead and and got that for myself I'd like to have his other series but um, just haven't made it there yet. So I went ahead and got this. And if you have read this, yeah, tell me how good it is. So, okay, so we have Jamestown. We have been to Jamestown. I like to get books about places we have been, plus just history in general. It's my favorite. Um, you will probably find a lot more history books on our shelves than anything else. Um, but I purchase this it is not like beautifully illustrated or anything it's just got little sketches but it's um it's pretty short and I could get through this and just a sitting with the kids and um, just information about Jamestown and um, the New World Adventure so very cute little book um, got it from Amazon as well oh, this is Heidi I have Heidi but the book I have is kind of tore up and it's really little and uh, small writing and I'm getting old and I need to see bigger handwriting <laughs> or bigger typed writing. And um, this is easy to handle. It's hardback and it's bigger. So I can read this to the kids. This is one of the books we will be reading this year and then watching the movie. Um, we do that uh, with several classics, To Kill a Mockingbird, for instance, or something like that. But this will be one of the books we read and then we will watch the movie. So I got that. Um, this is for my four-year-old, just one of those block books. It's very informative for a four-year-old in a fun way, the story of Washington. So just a little fun book for him to have. He has a lot of books, and he loves reading. And most of them are just fun, either Disney or um, the Golden Books or so forth, or Bible books. Um, so I thought I'd add this in there just to be a fun little book we can get through very quickly and be informative. This is also for him. I have been looking and looking and looking at this book, but I did not want to pay $12 for it, so I was just holding off and holding off until I could find it for cheaper, um, and I finally got it. So this is the Big Book of Colors, the Osborne book. I know a lot of homeschool moms love their books, and it just teaches the colors. As you can see here, it's got the color wheel. Let me line it back up. If I know my own colors. And then um, the pages are dedicated to the colors. So this would be blue. It's got a lot of blue things and green, yellow. He knows his colors real well, but this is, I mean, he's four, so it's always good to have things around like that. Red, pink, purple, black and white. And this, this is cool, so it'll show you how um, this will change colors when it's pushed up against something. Very, very cute. I enjoyed this. And he'll love it too. So that's his big book of colors. Um, these are cards for my second grader. He has obviously learned time and money since kindergarten. And he's got time down really well. Um, he doesn't struggle with that at all. So this will just be fun for us to reference. But I got, the, I got it mainly because of the change. Um, so we can study more on the uh, money. And then on the back... Of each card you know on the back of the clock it would show it digitally and then on the back of the money it'll show how many cents it is so very basic and then I am so excited about these I don't even want to open them because they are so perfect I love Melissa and Doug everything they have is just so um, uniquely made and well made sturdy and these are the uh, letters and numbers um, if you've watched any of my videos you completely have gotten it by now that we do a lot of puzzles and um, and that's a, a great way that I have found out that my kids learn so uh, and Easton my four-year-old loves them so 
I got the alphabet in puzzle form to where he can, we can take it all apart and he can match up the letter with um, the picture as a butterfly and B for butterfly. And then um, these are the numbers. So two and then you give two baseballs. I did spend more than I would ever want to on something like this. I think they were $11.99 each and I bought it in a set. So it was like $24 uh, total free shipping. But um, I went ahead and got it because I know that it will be used to the full extent that it could be used. And he will enjoy that and anything to help him learn. So that is all we have out of our mail today. And continue watching. I have a couple other videos I want to make that I have been given so many books from so many women who have either stopped teaching or had overflow. So um, I'll do a couple videos on that, but thank you for watching. Bye.